The Canterbury scientist says he's come up with the solution to the worldwide aviation problem of bird strikes. That's when a bird or a flock hit and damage a plane or its engines with sometimes catastrophic results. Chris Pennells has developed a sort of grass that birds don't like the taste of and with three bird strikes here in the last fortnight, it's a timely invention. Jessica Rowe reports. An Air New Zealand jet was forced to return to Christchurch a few minutes after takeoff yesterday following a suspected bird strike. There was another case on a flight out of New Plymouth today. After experiencing bird strike on a flight to London, Canterbury scientist Chris Pennell put his mind to discouraging birds from living around airports. I'm working on the uh, premise that perhaps if we altered the food source and had less of a food source, made it less attractive, perhaps that'll keep birds away. The grass is also poison for insects, another food source for birds. We have uh, an endophyte in it that produces a natural insecticide, so therefore less insects. And it also makes birds ill if they eat it, but it certainly doesn't kill them. The Canada geese that downed the US Airways flight in New York's Hudson River last year heightened attention to bird strike danger. The same birds are not uncommon around Christchurch Airport, and they're happy with Pennell's grass so far. When we look at this paddock and we look at other paddocks neighbouring it, we find that it's probably about a ratio of 14 to 1 on this paddock of bird activity versus elsewhere. So that's a fantastic result for us as an airport. Pennell says his grass has many other applications as well. I want to go outside the aviation industry and move into the horticultural field because I think there's huge opportunities to reduce the number of insects without actually having to spray them. He's exploring different ways in which the grass could prevent insects and birds from destroying millions of dollars worth of crops. Jessica Rowe, 3 News.